Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you how to crochet this easy vest which can be made in any size from baby to adult. So for my vest I used a 5mm crochet hook and DK weight yarn. So thank you very much for watching and please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more crochet videos. So to begin your vest you want to start off by making a slip knot. So to do a slip knot take your yarn and take your finger and wrap the yarn around your finger once and then twice then take the first loop and pull it over the second loop and then take the second loop and pull it all the way over your finger. You then want to take your crochet hook, go in through this space and pull tight. And there you have a slip knot. And now once you have your slip knot, we are now going to make our foundation chain. And you can make your foundation chain as long or as short as you like, but the length of your chain will depend on how wide you want your vest to be. So the longer you make your chain, the wider your vest will be. So I'm going to take a t-shirt in the size that I want my vest. So I am doing around size one to two years. So this is a t-shirt in size one to two years. And I am going to make my chain this length. So the length of the width of the t-shirt. So this vest can be made in any size from baby all the way up to adult. And I am doing a toddler size. So I'm just going to chain up to this length here. So for the width of this t-shirt. But if you wanted to do a smaller baby size, then just make less chains up to the width that you want. And if you wanted to, to do a bigger size, you can do as many chains as you like until you have the width that you want. And a good way to work out how many chains to do is to take a piece of clothing in the size that you want and keep making chains until you get to the width. And your foundation chain must also be an odd number. So you could chain 27, 35, 43, 41, 79, 105 is completely up to you as long as it is an odd number. So make your foundation chain. So I have just finished making my foundation chain of an odd number and I ended up chaining 41 for size 1 to 2 years. So if you wanted to do a baby size you might want to chain 35. So for size 1 to 2 years I did 41. So if you were doing 2 to 3 years you might want to do 45. Something like that and I am using a 5mm hook and DK weight yarn. So then once you have your foundation chain, we are now ready to move on to round one. And round one is a very simple round of double crochet. So we're just doing one double crochet into every single chain. And we're going to work our first double crochet into the second chain from the hook. So here is the first chain from the hook and here is the second chain and into this chain we're going to do a double crochet. So yarn over, go down into this chain, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops and then yarn over and pull through the final two loops on your hook. So there we have our first double crochet into the second chain from the hook. So now you want to yarn over and go down into the next chain and do one into this one and then do one double crochet into the next chain and one into the next and just continue this all the way along one double crochet into every single chain So I have finished working that all the way along for round one and you should find that you have one less double crochet than you chained. So I chained 41 so therefore I should have 40 double crochets at the end of round one and I do. 
So now we're ready to move on to round so two. So to begin round two, chain one and turn. And this chain one does not count as a stitch. So round two is just another round of double crochet. So we're just going to do one double crochet into every single stitch. But from now on, we are just going to be working into the back loop of each stitch. So if you have a look at our stitches here, we have a front loop and then a back loop. So each stitch has a front loop, which is here, and then a back loop. So a front loop and a back loop. And usually when we crochet, we go through both of these loops, but from now on, we're just going to be going through the back loop of each stitch. So we're just going to be going into the back loop of this one, and then just the back loop of the next one, and the back loop of the next one. So we're going to be doing one double crochet into the back loop of each stitch. So we have chained one and turned, and this chain one did not count as a stitch. So now we're going to go down into this first stitch here and work a double crochet. So yarn over and go down into the stitch. And remember, we are just going into the back loop. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two loops. And then yarn over and pull through the final two loops on your hook. So there we have one double crochet into that stitch. And now yarn over and go into the next stitch. And we're just going into the back loop. And do one into this stitch as well. Then do one into the back loop of the next stitch. And one into the next. And just continue this all the way along. So I'm just coming to the end of round two. So I'm going to work my last double crochet into the back loop of this last stitch at the end. And at the end of this round, you should find that you have the same number of double crochets as you did at the end of round one. So I had 40 at the end of round one, so I should still have 40 now. And you can see that by working just into the back loop, we get this cool effect here. So we get it where we have this line that goes all the way across and it gives us the ribbed look of our vest. So now we are moving on to round three. So we are now on to round three. And for the next part of our vest, you just want to keep repeating round two. So the round that we just did again and again and again until you reach where you want the armholes to be. So if you have a look at my t-shirt, our um, vest goes along the bottom like this. And we're just going to keep repeating round two until we get to here. So where we want the armholes to start. So if you have a t-shirt that you are basing your um, vest off of, that makes it really easy as you can just line your vest up with the t-shirt and stop when you get to here. So just under where the arms start or where the sleeves start. So just keep repeating round two again and again and again until you reach where you want the armholes to be. And we are making the back of the vest here. I'm not sure if I've mentioned that already, but we are making the back at the moment. So just keep repeating round two until you reach where you want the armholes to be. So that might be 10 rounds, that might be 15, 20, 30, depending on what size you are making. So for each round, we're going to chain one and turn, and this chain one never counts as a stitch. And then we're just going to do one double crochet into the back loop of every single stitch. So 
So I have just finished working those rounds. So I just kept repeating round two until I reached right under the arms of my t-shirt. So I did rounds one, two, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16 repeats of round two. And that is for size one to two years, but you can do as many as you like. So then once you have done those rounds, we now need to cut in for our armholes. So when you get to the very end of your last repeat, fasten off, so pull your yarn out and your hook and cut your yarn, leaving a tail to weave in or work over later. And I have already done that. So when you get to the end of your last repeat of round two, fasten off. And then you want to turn your work over. So turn it over. And we are going to cut in for the armholes. And we are going to skip the first four stitches. So go right to the end here from where you just fastened off. So fasten off at the end of the last round, then turn your work over and now count in four stitches. So count in one, two, three, four. And we are going to skip all of these four stitches and then into the next stitch, the fifth one along, insert your crochet hook into this stitch. And I'm actually going to go through both loops, so both the front and the back loop, as that will just make this um, attachment a little bit more secure. And then take your new yarn, place it over the end of your hook, pull it through and chain one. And there we have attached our new yarn to our work and we have skipped four stitches and there we have cut in for the first armhole. So now what we're going to do for this round is we're going to do double crochets all the way along up until four stitches from the end. So we're going to do one double crochet into the back loop of every stitch until you reach four stitches from the end. So one, two, three, four. You want to stop right before that fourth stitch. So we're going to yarn over and go down into this first stitch, going into the, just the back loop of this stitch and work one double crochet. Then do one double crochet into the back loop of the next stitch and one into the back loop of the next one. And just continue doing this all the way along. One double crochet into the back loop of each stitch until you reach four stitches from so the I end. So I have finished working those double crochets all the way along. So I have done one double crochet into every single stitch and I have reached four stitches from the end. So I have one, two, three, four stitches at the end, which I have not worked into. And there we have finished that round and you should find that you have eight stitches less across than you had before. So I had 40 in each of these rounds. So that should mean that I have 32 in this round that I just worked. And now we're ready to move on to the next round. So to begin this round, we're going to chain one and turn. And this round is very simple. We're just doing one double crochet into the back loop of every single stitch. So just yarn over, go down into this first stitch and do a double crochet. Then do one into the next one. And just continue this all the way along until you get to the end. So where you started last round. So I have just finished working that all the way along. So I did one double crochet into the back loop of every single stitch for that shorter round. 
And now the next part of our vest is very simple. So we're just going to keep repeating that round, so the round that we just did, again and again and again, until you reach the top of your vest. So until you have your vest to the length that you want it. So if you have a look at my t-shirt here, and I line up the vest with a t-shirt, I'm just going to keep repeating um, that round until my vest reaches the very top. So until it reaches up to here. So I'm thinking that's probably going to be another six rounds or so, but you could do seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve rounds, however many you like. So just keep repeating that round until you reach the top of your t-shirt and you have the back of your vest to the length that you want it. And then we will have finished the back. So for each round, chain one and turn, and then do one double crochet into the back loop of every single stitch. So I have just finished working those repeats, so I repeated that round again and again and again until I have reached the top of my t-shirt, so the length that I want my vest to be. And the last little thing that we're going to do for the back of our vest is we are going to add two little straps, so just one round each on either side, and then we will continue with the straps mainly on the front of our vest. So what we're going to do is start off on this side here first and chain one and turn. So chain one and turn and you can make your straps as wide as you want. You could do five stitches, six, seven, eight and the bigger the size you are doing the more stitches you may want to do. But I'm just going to do six stitches. So I'm going to do six um, double crochets for the strap. So yarn over, go down into the first stitch, into the back loop only, and do one double crochet, and just keep going until you have the width that you want. So I am going to do six. Like that. And then once you have done that and you have the width that you want, pull your yarn out and your hook and cut your yarn leaving a tail to weave in later. And then you want to add the other strap on the opposite side. So go to the other side and count in the number of stitches that you did for this one. So I did six, so I'm going to count in one, two, three, four, five, six. Insert your hook into that stitch Attach your yarn as we did before and then work double crochets all the way along and then fasten off that strap as well leaving a tail to weave in later and there we will have finished the So back. there I have finished adding both of my straps at the top here and we have finished the back of our vest. So for mine I am doing size 1 to 2 years and I chained 41. I then did all of my rounds up here to the arms and that was 18 rounds in total. Then we cut in four stitches on either side and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven shorter rounds. And then I have the straps at the top, which are six stitches each. So if you're wanting to do the same size as me, that is how you do it. That is the numbers that I used. But of course you can do this in any size. So there we have made the back and now we are ready to move on to the so front. So we are now on to the front of our vest and we are going to make the front in two halves. So we're going to start off with the first half and you want to begin by doing a slip knot in the same way as we did for the back. And now you want to make your foundation chain. And the length of your foundation chain will depend on how long you made your foundation chain for the back. So what you want to do is you want to take the number that you chained for the back, so I chained 41, and then subtract 1, so I'm going to subtract 1 to get 40, then divide that number by 2, so divide it in half, 
So I'm going to divide that down to 20 and then add one again. So I'm going to chain 21. So say if you chained 83, you would subtract one to get 82 and then divide that by two to get 41 and then you would add one to get 42 and that is the number that you're going to chain. So you're going to take the number that you chained for the back, subtract one, divide it by two and then add one. So I'm going to chain 21. So make your foundation chain. So I have just finished making my foundation chain and now we're ready to move on to round one. So round one of the front is the same as round one of the back. We're going to do a plain round of double crochet. So do one double crochet into the second chain from the hook and then just one double crochet into every chain until the end. So there we have finished round one of this half of the front. So it's just the same thing as round one of the back, one double crochet into each stitch. And now we're moving on to round two. And round two is the same thing as the back, chain one and turn. And then we're just going to do one double crochet into the back loop of every stitch. So just do the same thing all the way along as we did for round two of the back. One double crochet into the back loop of each stitch. So I have just finished working that all the way along for round two. And now the next part of the front of our vest is very simple. We're just going to do the exact same thing as we did for the back. So we're going to keep repeating round two until you reach where you want to cut in for the arms. And you need to make sure that you do the exact same number of repeats for the front as you did for the back. So you need to have the same number of rounds. So I did 18 rounds in total from round one all the way up to the arms. So I'm going to make sure that I do 18 rounds for the front. So just keep repeating round two until you have the same number as so the So I back. have just finished working those rounds. So I have done the exact same number of rounds as the back and this is what you should have. And then when I came to the end of that round, the last round that I did, I fastened off, so pulled my yarn out and my hook and cut my yarn, leaving a long tail to weave in or work over later. And now we are ready to move on to our next round where we are going to cut in for the arms. So start off by turning your work over. So you want to begin by turning over your work and then we're going to count in four stitches. So count in one, two, three, four, and then into the next stitch, the fifth one along, we're going to insert our hook into this stitch and attach our new yarn. So we are skipping four stitches, the first four. So take your new yarn, place it over the end of your hook, pull it through, and then chain one to secure it. So we are doing the same thing as we did for the back, skipping the first four stitches and now you just want to do one double crochet into the back loop of every single stitch along to the very end. So we are going all the way to the very last stitch at the end. So do a double crochet into the back loop of this first one. Then one into the back loop of the next and just do this all the way along to the end. So I have just finished working those double crochets all the way along and if you want to take this front piece and line it up with the back, you can see where these will line up. The armholes go in at the same place. And now for the rest of the front of our vest, so this half of the front, we're just going to keep doing rounds of double crochet into the back loop of each stitch. 
until you reach two rounds from the top. So our straps of the front are two rounds long, whereas the back, they were just one round long. So what you want to keep doing is just keep doing rounds of one double crochet into every stitch until you reach two rounds from the top. So the easiest way to do that is to count the number of rounds that you did, including the strap for the back. So I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for this top section. So that means that I need six rounds in total for my front section here. So I have done one round, so I need to do five more rounds and then that will take me to two rounds from the top and then I can do my straps over those last two rounds. So just keep repeating rounds of double crochet until you get to two rounds from the so top. So I have finished working those rounds and I got to two rounds from the top. So like I said, I needed to do five repeats. So I have one, two, three, four, five repeats, which took me to two rounds from the top of my back. And then I did two rounds for the straps. And I did the straps in the exact same way as the back, but this time they are two rounds tall instead of one. And that just gives us a little bit of a longer strap. And then when I got to the very end, so I did those rounds and added the two rounds for the strap, I fastened off, so pulled my yarn out and my hook and cut my yarn. And there we have finished the front. So the first half of the front of our vest. And now we're ready to move on to the second half. So the second half of the front is very, very similar. Up until this point here, you want to do the exact same thing. So you want to do a slip knot, make the same number for the foundation chain, do round one of plain double crochet, and then do all of these rounds of round two until you have the exact same number. So once you have done that, this is what you should have. So you want to do rounds one up into the armholes in the exact same way as this half. And then the only difference between the two halves is that when you come to cut in for the armholes, instead of cutting your yarn, turning your work over, skipping four stitches and working double crochets to the end, like we did with this half, you do not want to cut your yarn. So do not cut your yarn, instead chain one and turn, and then do one double crochet into every single stitch until four stitches from the end. So that is the only difference between the two um, half is that one round there where we cut in for the armholes and then you want to do the rest of the other half of the front in the exact same way. So I'm just way. going to show you that now. So when you come to the round where you need to cut in for the armholes, instead of cutting your yarn, chain one and turn. So I'm going to chain one and turn and then do one double crochet into every single stitch working in the back loops until you get to four stitches from the end. And what that'll mean is that'll mean that our um, armholes are on opposite sides. So just keep doing one double crochet into every stitch until you get to four stitches from the end. And that will mean that your armholes are on opposite sides on each side, which is what you want. And then just do the rest of this half in the exact same way as this one. And the only other difference is that when it comes to the straps, you will need to make sure that the straps are on the opposite side. So the strap should always lie on the same side as the armhole. So just keep doing that until you have the other side. And then we will have all three parts of our vest. So I have complete. just finished working the other half of the front of my vest. So now we have completed all three pieces. So we have two halves of the front and the back. And now the last thing that we need to do is we need to sew these pieces up together and then add a border and some buttons. So when we join the front and the back pieces, we're joining in four places in total. So from the bottom up to the armholes and then along the top of each section. And when you 
join them, you need to make sure that your ribbing is um, matching up, that it's all the same on the front and the back pieces. So if you have a look with our ribbing, we have bits that go in and bits that go out. And you need to make sure that when you join, so the easiest way is just to make sure that the bottom round is joining up. You can see that both um, the bottom of this front piece and the back are the outside pieces, so the ribbing that sticks out. So just make sure that when you're joining them that the ribbing is so matching up. So to join up. your work you will need a yarn needle or a tapestry needle like this and then a long piece of yarn in the same colour as the one you were using or you can use your ends from where you made your slip knot if you left a long enough end. So I left a nice long end so I can use that to join my work and we're going to join using the whip stitch. So go in through to the opposite side, making sure that your stitches are lined up perfectly. And then with the whip stitch, you always come back around to the same side. So I'm going to come back around to this side, go in through the next stitch and through to the same stitch on the opposite side. And again, make sure that they're lined up perfectly and pull your yarn through. Then come back around to the same side, go in through the next stitch and the same stitch on the opposite side and just keep doing this all the way along. And with the whip stitch, like I said, you always come back around to the same side. So do that to join up your work in those four places. So I have joined my vest and then I went ahead and added a single crochet border all the way around the top, around the edge, back down and then around the arms and to do that I just did one single crochet into each stitch and then in the four corners, so here, here and then down the bottom, I did three single crochets into each corner. And then I went ahead and added some buttons every fifth row. And then I added some little button loops on the opposite side using some chains. So I just added some yarn, chain five, and then worked a slip stitch into the next stitch and secured that yarn on the inside to make little button loops. And I have finished. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it easy to follow. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more crochet videos. And in the description box below this video, I will leave a link to where you can find my Twitter account. So if you would like to go and follow me on there, I always like to post updates and pictures of upcoming tutorials. And I would love to see photos of your crochet work on Twitter as well. And in the description box, I will also leave a link to where you can find some of my written patterns if you are interested. And thank you again for watching. Bye.